On the scene of for that blaze that ripped through the South Peninsula in the Western Cape, Vanessa Pune is standing by. A very good morning to you, Vanessa. I believe you can hear us. What's the latest on the blaze? Good morning. Uh, yes, as you can see behind me, uh, quite the ring of fire, a beautiful sight here um, on the mountain peaks above Chapman's Peak. Um, if it were not um, a devastating to those living around the area, it's, it's a very pretty sight indeed. Uh, we've spoken to the uh, fire chief of the city of Cape Town, Ian Schle uh, Schnettler, uh, a short while ago, saying that things are unchanged largely since last night. Uh, there are five hotspot areas at the moment that fire crews are still uh, monitoring um, until a uh, first light, which which will be about half past six this morning uh, when they'll they'll do a recon uh, just to have a look uh, and see how they can bring in aerial support uh, to bring down uh, this fire which has been raging, uh, raging since uh, Sunday morning. Uh, also, uh, we've spoken to them a short while ago. Uh, there are a number of ground crew uh, still uh, on the scene um, at the various fire uh, spots and uh, more firefighters are expected to come in from the Eastern Cape, uh, etc. Um, at least another 200 or so to help bring the various fires under control. Uh, yeah, in the South Peninsula. Vanessa, when are those extra 200 firefighters expected to arrive in the Western Cape? I know that I've just read uh, shortly on a message sent to me that uh, there will be a briefing later on this morning at around 8 o'clock. So I'm not quite certain exactly when they're due to arrive, but we do know that they will be coming in to assist. Uh, firefighting teams have had their hands full um, when I spoke uh, to uh, the fire chief uh, yesterday as well, saying that they've been working non-stop since the early hours of Sunday morning. So I do expect that they could arrive um, as soon as today. Uh, are the wind conditions not looking uh, too bad for, for the forecast for today, though, as we stand here this morning and not very windy at all but we do expect the temperatures to soar to the mid 30s again today so it'll be another hot day uh, here in Cape Town um, and I think that they're just hoping the firefighting teams that is uh, that the wind will remain um, as quiet as it is now because of course it will really help their efforts uh, if the wind doesn't push up too much uh, throughout the course of today. Vanessa any indication as to when the blaze will actually be extinguished or what is uh, their optimistic hope? Uh, to be optimistic, I think we would at this uh, stage pray for some rain, which I think we could have some rain coming through tomorrow. Um, if you will remember, in the year 2000, a huge blaze in this very area um, took about nine days, uh, you know, had, had the mountain burning for about nine days and about 20 houses destroyed in that fire 15 years ago. And I do uh, um, think that at this stage, uh, the authorities are going to work extremely hard uh, to, to bring this uh, fire under control, uh, to, to put this fire out before it gets to that stage. So I think we could still see uh, firefighting teams on the ground for at least another few days, at least until the end of this week, and then also just to monitor uh, any possible hot spots. And also, they have appealed to residents to hose down, uh, especially thatched roofs, etc., uh, to keep the area wet, uh, to prevent the fire from, from jumping if the, uh, the wind should push up. But at this stage, I think that there is a sense of optimism that within the next few days, uh, they will manage to bring this fire under control. But this all, of course, is dependent on the weather conditions, uh, how hot it will become, and also so um, the wind speed, when the wind picks up, it makes uh, firefighting efforts just that more uh, difficult. All right, so everybody will be taking a very close look at what the weather reporter will hold. Thank you very much, Vanessa Puna, our reporter in the Western Cape, just bringing us the latest from that place on the South Peninsula. Let's continue.